What's up everyone, Diggin' Dave here guys. So I have a silver unboxing video for you guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I have quite a bit of silver here, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's go ahead and start opening up the package here. It's in a box, so we're gonna have to... Well, they all come in boxes, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, silver has really been pretty low lately, so I ordered quite a bit. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people think when silver is low, they freak out and they either sell or you're a smart individual and you buy silver. Well, let me see here, make sure there's no personal information in here. Let me pull that out quick. All right, so I didn't see any personal information. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, looks like the box is empty. I'll go ahead and open up this whew, heavy package. Let me go ahead and make sure there's nothing down here. It doesn't feel like it. Let me cut along here. All right. All right, I do see some paper there, so let me take that out. It's probably my invoice. Probably has my address on it. All right, I got that out of there. All right, guys, so here we go. Full roll. Of American Eagles. All right, that's everything in there. Then I also got an empty uh, tube. Wow. <laughs> I've never bought a full roll. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hopefully, we'll. Hopefully, it'll focus here for me. Hold on. One ounce silver American Eagle BU. At max, who this thing's heavy. 20 count at max. Awesome. I also got this. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna open up everything. We'll actually open this up in a minute and go through the Eagles. I got random years. Another 10 ounce stackable bar. 10 ounce bar right there. I have another one in my safe, so now I won't just have one, I will have two. So now my lonely 10 ounce stackable in my safe will have something uh, for it to be stacked with. Alright, I know what's in here. Go ahead and open this up as well. Hopefully there's not any personal information in here. Oof. A bubble wrap is thick. Might have to speed up this process. Or maybe I'll have to get a new razor. My first time ever doing this, guys. Pretty awesome. A full roll of uh, ninety percent silver mercury dimes, average circulation. Nineteen forty-four on the end. A full roll of mercury dimes. We'll go ahead and go through this. So, guys, let me crack this stuff open, and we'll go through it. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this. Here is the Atmex 10 Troy Ounce Silver Bar. I have another one of these. I'll get it out at the end and stack it so you can see how the stackables work. 10 ounce stackable silver bar. Awesome.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to these. I did open it. I'm thinking since I bought 20, um, they might have taken this one right out of a monster box. I've never, I've never bought a whole roll before, but it's got like this little black circular foam padding. And the top one in there is a 2014. So let me go ahead and take these out and we'll see what we have in there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and grabbed myself a washcloth. Um, I've never done this before. I've never bought a whole, I've never bought a whole tube of Eagles. Let's see if they're all 2014s or if we have mixed years. Here we go. They might not come out so easy. Oh, look at that, guys. All right. I think they might be all 2014. One ounce fine silver. Yep, 2014. Yep, guys, they're all 2014s. So I got a full tube of 2014 beautiful BU. I am just touching them by the edges. You know, they're not perfect, as you can see. Wow. Silver, silver, though. 20 Eagles. Wow, guys, look at this one. Look at the shine on that. Wow. 20 ounces of silver. Wow. I've never been able to do that. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and then we'll open up this roll of Mercury Dimes and see what we have in it. I believe right here we have a 1944, which is common. This one's a little more worn. I think this one might be a 1926. It's kind of hard to see, but I think we might have a 1926. All right, let's open up this roll of Mercury Dimes. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I kind of cut along the edge there because there's a sticker. I do have plastic tubes for these. This is going to be incredible. I've never bought a full roll of silver dimes, let alone mercury dimes. Let's see. Let's see the beauty unfold before us of just nothing but silver edges. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Got a nice dark one in the middle. Nothing but silver mercury dimes. Wonder if a barber accidentally snuck in there. We'll have to see. All right, let's lay it out here. All right. Let's go ahead and just do one at a time. Let's go ahead and put it up here a little bit. There we go. Right, so the first one is a 1944 Philadelphia. I'm gonna have to look at these after for mintage and errors and all that. 1938, not a real common, that date doesn't really ring a bell in my head. I'm sure it's common though. 1938, a 1943 Denver. Ooh, 1924, a 24S, wow. Actually, I have my book right next to me. If you guys don't care, I'll go ahead and look up. If I have one that I don't know off the top of my head, I'll go ahead and look at the mintages and see if it's a low mint, 1924S. Let me see. Sorry, my chair is kind of squeaky. So I have the red book here, let me pull it up. All right, let's look at it together. 1924S, wow, not rare, but only a little over seven million, so that's a little bit lower. Uh, 24S in good 
condition G4 on a $3.50 coin. I am definitely not a professional coin grader though, so the value just went down 50 cents since I dropped it. But a 24S, I don't know. I'll set the ones I think are a little better in a different pile. All right, let's see the next one. Another 1924, Philadelphia. That's funny. Right next to the 24S was a 1924 Philadelphia. Well, I guess if I wanted to fill out a book, that'd be good for me. As you can see though, the 1924, 24 Denver is definitely the most rare out of them, but the 24 is 24 million, so a little higher mint. But let's look at the next one. A 1934 Philadelphia. It's the ones that are a little, little more worn. But I don't know. I Like I said, I've only found Mercury Dimes coin roll hunting, and I generally find the 40s because they're the most common. What, what's a 1934? Let me check. Probably pretty common, I would assume. Uh, 1934, 24 million, so yeah, a little more common. 24S, though, is by far the lowest mintage so far. 1937. Sorry, guys, I do live by a train, so the train's going by. The 1937, yeah, that's higher. 56 million. I hope I'm not boring you guys by looking at all the dates and stuff. 1942 off the two looks a little messed up. That is not in terrible condition. It doesn't really have any luster, but that's not a bad coin. Got some nice detail on it. 1942. Uh, 1941S, a 41S, 43 million. So that one is uh, common. What's going on there? Man, I believe that's a 1940, but what is going on? It's like the zero is almost in the rim. 1940 rings up at 65 million. I was expecting a lot of 40s. See, there's a 1940. I feel like that's what a 40 should look like, but the other one, the zero was like in the rim. A 1940, another one of those. This is really fun going through, going through Mercury Dimes. I've never, 1943, plain 43 is 191 million. My God, that's a lot. All right. What a 19, is that a, I think that's a 1926 Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and look that one up. 1926. All right, let me show you right here. 1926 comes up at 32 million. If it was a 26S, that'd be a little bit of a rare dime. Only a little over a million. Like I said, I hope I'm not boring you guys looking at each dime, but in my opinion, it's fun. 1936. All right, the 36, 87 million. So by, four, by far that 24S so far has been the lowest mintage. Another 1938. That one was uh, 22 million. I said it's really fun going through these. Another 42 off the check for that 42 over 41. With my microscope after this video, another 1943, very high mintage. Wonder if any beauty slipped in here. Another 1943 Philadelphia. I wonder if any really nice ones slipped in here by chance. Woo! Getting a whole bunch of 43s, but I kind of feel like that 40, that S 
That S looks different for some reason. What does a 43S come at? 43S is 60 million, which is actually the lowest of the 1943. Another 38. 45, last year for the Mercury Dime, 45 Denver. Comment on that one. You know, I'm not expecting any terribly valuable coins to slip through, but you never know. I'm sure all these coins are gone through. 41 Denver. All right, what's what's a 41 Denver at? 45 million. Another 1940 Philadelphia. 26. That looks like a Philadelphia. A little bit of a younger one there. Here's the black beauty I was talking about. Woo! 1920. That's the oldest one so far. 1920. It's almost got some toning and black on it. It's a 1920. All right, the 1920 is the oldest one so far. But it's at 59 million. So high mint. 1934 Denver. Let's go ahead and check that one quick. Oh, wow. 34 Denver is only uh, a little over 6 million. Apparently it's not really valuable, but lower mintage one there. So 34 D, I think that'd probably be our second best one so far. Another 45. What is this? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments, guys. Should I contact Atmax at about this? Um, it is silver, so it's not the end of the world, but as you see, 90% silver, mercury dime, 50 coins, so. This is definitely not a Mercury Dime, but I'll keep it. <laughs> 43D. Ooh, 1923. Let me check that one quick. All right. Ah. Uh, Highest mintage out of them, 1923, 50 million. All right. Another common one. Another 45, Philadelphia. Look at that. 1917. 1917 S. I believe that's an S mint mark. Let me look that up quick. Oh, not as rare as I thought. 17S comes in at 27 million. That's cool though. Oldest second second year Mercury Dime, 1917S. Pretty cool. Nineteen thirty-five. Well, 35 is 58 million. You got a messed up one here. I believe that's a 43. You got some. Talk about some black. I don't know if that's just black crap on it or toning. Goodness sake. Another 43. Kind of messed up, but it is silver. 36. S. Let's look that one up quick. 36S is 9 million. So not really rare. Oh, wow. That's not in bad condition for a 1926. Wow, I would... um. 
I don't know. Let me know, know down in the comments. Like I said, I'm not an expert coin grader, but I was expecting a 40s on that one. 1926. That's probably one of the nicer ones, and it's from the 20s. Nice. Again, 1926, a little 32 million, so. 44. 1943. Sorry, guys, this video is so long, but I wanted to go through these Mercury Dimes. Another 1926 Philadelphia. Like you can see right here, these are both 1926, and you can see the difference. Quite a bit. 1937, Philadelphia. Uh, pretty nice 1941. Nineteen forty. Ooh, nineteen eighteen. I think that's a higher mintage, but whoo, that thing is that thing has seen better days. Nineteen eighteen comes with twenty six million, so pretty common. Nineteen thirty five. 1936 Denver. Might have had that one already. Uh, 16 million. 1937. Another 43. Very high mint. 43S. 1942. Man, guys, look at this last one. Woo-wee. I think that might be a 1920, I don't know. That one has seen better days. Maybe they gave me the silver rosy to, to make up for this. That's really the only complaint I have for the Rollas. You can clearly see that it's a 20s though. 192, and look at the difference. This 1926 is beautiful. Let me know if guys, if I should put that in a flip. Or, if, I don't know. I kind of got this for junk silver just for fun. But that is a beautiful 26. Wow. All right, so here, guys, is the pile of commons. That's the pile of common. Look at all those Mercury Dimes. Beautiful. We got the random 1963 Rosie. And then the best ones, I would say, like I said, was this beautiful 1926 Philadelphia. Uh, 1917 S. Actually, I didn't mean to put that one there. That's fairly common. Uh, 34 Denver. Um, that's only six million. And I forget what this one was. Oh, a 1924S. That was only like 7 million. Yeah, guys, there's all the Mercury Dimes, though. Boom. Let me go ahead and do a wrap-up, and I'll end the video. All right, guys, so here's the wrap-up. We had 49 Mercury Dimes in the Lonely Silver Rosie, a 10-ounce bar, and... 20 American Silver Eagles to add to the stack. I'll probably do a full stack video here soon. But I know here 20 ounces, a 10 ounce, that's 30 ounces. And then, um, what is there, roughly like three and a half ounces in a roll of silver dimes. That's roughly probably about 30, 33 to 34 ounces added to the stack. And guys, this is my new, uh, the one I got today, my Atmex Stackable. 10 ounce bar and this is one I actually have had I ordered this one a month or two ago but I just wanted to show you guys I've never done this before see how they stack it's just a bar so I don't really care you just go look at that nice and snug 
stacks right on top of each other. I love that. There we go. So now that 10 ounce is gonna have a friend stacked right on top. 20 ounces right there. Just wanted to show my other stackable there. But everyone, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching. My name's Diggin' Dave. Make sure and like and subscribe. If you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any uploads or notifications. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Keep on stacking that silver, guys. I'm Diggin' Dave. And until next time, keep on digging and keep stacking that silver. Bye, guys.